Hello everybody. If you were good and Santa was better, you might have a Raspberry Pi in your possession right now. On this awesome little device, you may want to set up RiskOS. You can. It's easy, right? Just watch this video and you'll have RiskOS running in no time. A brief bit of history for you. Back in the mid to late 80s, Acorn Computers wanted a successor to their popular BBC and Master series of computers. Finding nothing matched their vision, they set about designing one from the ground up. I mean that literally, they started by designing their own processor. On this new hardware, an operating system. The RISC OS operating system. It's a simple and lightweight compared to today's offerings, but it will offer, arguably, the friendliest and least hassle way to begin using your Pi for your own projects. Risk OS is an operating system that doesn't make a habit of telling you what it thinks you want to do. It just lets you get on with the hacking. There are five prerequisites. Firstly, a Windows computer. I use Windows as most people ought to be able to get access to one in some manner or another. Secondly, you'll need a Risk OS image. This may be found on a Raspberry Pi site. Click on Downloads. You'll find Risk OS at the bottom of the page. It is available as a torrent or a direct download. The third thing you will need, obviously enough, is a Raspberry Pi. My Pi is a second version Model B. It has 256 megabytes on board. Unfortunately, my Pi turned up just before the announcement of the half gigabyte as standard. Oh well, this might be a problem with Linux media servers, but for RiskOS, 256 is plenty. The fourth thing you will need is Win32 Disk Imager. This may be found on SourceForge. It is a program that writes image files directly to removable media, such as SD cards, and is exactly what is needed for making a RiskOS image. The final thing you'll need is a 2GB SD card. This can be hard to find these days as people tend to want larger capacities. I'm using a micro SD supplied with my smartphone. Obviously this is too small for the anime and music collection, so I replaced it with something larger. And now, in an SD adapter, is suitable for setting up RiskOS on the Pi. In order to make this video a little less boring, I've skipped a few steps. The files are downloaded and unpacked. The RiskOS blah blah RC6 file is what you'll download. At 98 megabytes, it shouldn't take too long. The larger file, 1.83 gigabytes, is the image file unpacked from the zip. That may be a little slow depending on what software you use. Finally, Win32 Disk Imager that I've unpacked here. Let's go in there and run it. As you can see, I've selected the image file to write to the SD card in drive E. What drive you choose depends upon your system. Do not make a mistake here. Double check everything. Click on Write. And if you're absolutely certain you're writing to the correct device, you can click on Yes. On my system, it writes at 6 or 7 megabytes per second. It's not terribly quick. So now would be a good time to put the kettle on. One cup of tea later, the write is successful. We're not done yet. If you're using an analog power television, there's something you need to do. Dismount the SD card safely. Eject it, and pop it back in again. Here are the files on the SD card. Now just to clarify, if you're using HDMI or analog NTSC, you do not need to do this. If you're using a power television, go up and double click on config.txt at the top of the file insert the following sdtv underscore mode equals 2 save the updated file dismount and eject the SD card my Pi is sitting atop the bigger board Connected to the USB are a generic optical mouse and a generic British layout keyboard. Video display is via the composite output. Trying not to knock the camera over, I'll insert the SD card. Remember, it goes in upside down. Now the moment of truth. Plug in the power. you'll find RiskOS to be astonishingly quick to start. If you have an HD monitor, then that's it. RiskOS will be right in front of you in full HD. 
If you have a television, you won't be able to read a thing, so I'll show you how to change to a suitable display mode. Wait for that stuff to initialize itself, it won't take long. So let's zoom in on the bottom right part of the screen. You'll see three icons down there. Move the pointer over the middle icon and click the left mouse button. On the right of this window are three little squares. Move the pointer to the middle one and click the left button once. Highlight the second menu option and click the left button once. Finally, click on the button on the lower right of the window. If you see this name server message, it's simply because your Pi is not connected to a network. Move the mouse pointer to the SD icon on the far left, click the left button, same for exclamation boot. This is the system configuration panel. It's powerful but can be complex, so best not to meddle on here. Go to the screen icon and click the left mouse button. As there's no analog video monitor, we'll borrow something. Click the left button on the square thingy beside monitor type auto and choose AKF50 monitor. Set up 60 million colors and finally 800 by 600 resolution. Left click on set to make the settings permanent. You've now configured a monitor so it will work well on a television. We can restart the machine to see this take effect. Now usable on a television, although composite video is inherently sucky. But all us 40 year olds remember the days of 8 bit computers hooked to TVs through the aerial lead. There you go. A brief look around the apps icon contains all the things you may need quickly alarm clock, character map, vector, bitmap drawing, web browser, editors, etc. The SD card icon is like the C drive on the Windows machine. In here are folders containing a variety of things. Feel free to look around. There's a veritable plethora of information for those who are interested in programming their Pi with Risk OS. Including a full description of the API. On the Risk OS Open website is something called NutPi, which at £42 offers plenty of things to enhance your use of the Pi. Photo editor, email, complete official development environment and much more. Incredible value for money. Go take a look. Thank you for watching. I hope RiscOS and your pie bring you lots of enjoyment. Goodbye.